Welcome everyone to your sharper reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please hit that big old like button and subscribe. Okay guys, let's get in here and see what's going on with your chakras this month. Uh, best message coming out is having that a passion, talking about that sacral chakra. Ooh. And coming underneath the passion is the humor. Okay, so ooh, I like that. This says... I choose to focus on the lighter side of life, but having that passion, I love that. So this passion card is talking about passion, bravery, royalty. Are your daily actions supporting your real passion? What are you willing to stand up for? Being authentic, taking a stand for yourself, being acknowledged, feeling ostracized by your family or friends, being emotionally centered, a strong feminine energy going on over here and a happy outcome. Okay, so you are connected to feel passionate about your position, follow your instincts, for you know intuitively what is right for you. So you want to ask yourself those questions, right? But use also life with humor. Why do we want to use life with humor? Because if everything becomes too stressed out, humor is what our best friend, right? So sometimes we can take a little bit of humor, right? It gets a little too stressful. Think of something that makes you laugh. Laughter is the best medicine when you're feeling down, when you're feeling stressed out, especially when you're trying to go after something that is passionate and it's not really 100% working, right? So it's kind of like step outside of yourself and find something that, you know, puts a smile on your face. That will bring that sacral chakra back in. That will enlighten that sacral chakra to say, okay, you know what? Now I can get back to what I desire. Now I can get back to what I know. And it'll also help open up that intuition as well. Because um, it's coming from what? The heart source. From that heart chakra. Okay, so we have the change. Why? What did I just say? Because it's going to change the mood. It's going to change your emotions. Change the way you're thinking. Right? Balance yourself out. Change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And in the movement in this area right now, they're talking about is what? Humor. Okay, so the next two cards coming out is accelerated motion. Okay, so you have that accelerated motion. So it says putting everything into accelerated motion, changing those emotions around, right? Changing things to be more lighthearted. You will notice that your, your behavior, your mood is going to change rapidly. That's the eight of wands changing so rapid, being able to see, being able to feel better, feeling more compassionate um, when we're talking about also the heart chakra. So really opening that up for accelerated motion. And then of course, putting yourself in the waiting game, right? This is going to balance yourself out, being able to get back to where it is you feel more balanced within your the way you're feeling and the way you're thinking. Right. So definitely wanting to feel like that's what's going on. Now, the waiting game is, yeah, it's going to take time for things to change. It's going to take time for things to come back into that passionate area. But that's OK. Give yourself the patience. Right. To get back on track. OK, so let's clarify on some of the things going on over here. I love it. I'm talking about getting yourself back into getting those desires. Right. Sometimes things just don't work the way we want them to work. And sometimes it's just very frustrating, right? Yes, the happiness and the joy, finding that happiness and the joy, right? Being able to go out with your friends, finding humor with your friends, having your friends laugh with you, getting out and celebrating life. Feel like you are in the celebration of life. Take that time out for just one second to say, you know what? If I celebrate life, I can change the emotion. As your emotions are changing, you're you're learning to manifest, you're, you're changing all those things around, right? And this is for the world. Wow. Yes. Dancing with the universe, having that completion, feeling complete now. Now I feel complete, right? Now I feel complete because all my chakras are working and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling creative. I'm feeling like my intuition is working. I feel like I can get to my, you know, my desired outcomes. I feel like I can put that passion where that passion needs to be right? Feeling that vitality again. I like that. Okay, so, yep, I 
allowing yourself to have that higher calling coming in. Feeling inspired, you know, inspired by what's going on around me, feeling like I'm healed within the inside because it only takes one time, right? We're like, we're looking for this intention. We're looking and the day gets very frustrating. It's like, man, I was really trying to do this. I was really passionate about doing this and you threw a wrench at me, right? Now I'm down and out. Um, yeah. So you're definitely going to, you know, just rest, recuperate, find that time, find that, that time to find that joy within yourself. And then you will find that vitality. Like I said, finding that vitality, have a little fun, put the stress down and find fun. Go watch TV, find something to make you laugh, watch a comedy show, do something, right? Think of something that makes you laugh. It will change everything around for the day, right? Especially when it feels so stressful. And the, I think the biggest thing that we always say is, how am I going to laugh when I'm having such a shitty day? Well, then you're just going to continue to have a shitty day. Continue with that emotion and that will just make more shit on top of a shit until you have a pile of shit, <laughs> a big, huge one, right? Because you have to imagine the reaction to the action, right? How long are you going to hang on to that reaction to that action? So no, you want to get through it and get past it so that way you can change the outcome. As soon as you change the emotion and as soon as you see those things, you're going to realize things are changing because your mind is changing as your energy is changing. And the chakras are all about the soul. They're all about the energy, right? And how we're getting things done. And we're talking about the sacral chakra. The sacral chakra is actually the piece that actually brings in the manifestations. When we manifest, that's where we're going. We're going straight to that sacral chakra located six inches below your belly button. So when you are meditating and doing your, into, you know, your intuitive um, intentions and putting your intentions out. You always want to put your hands right underneath that belly button, left hand down first, right hand on top of it and breathe and make that stomach move. When you do that, you start calming down, right? You're going to find everything shifting. And that's how you shift. And that's how you're going to shift. Your day is going to shift as well. You're going to find that things are going to go lighter. Things are going to go brighter. Why? Because now it's changing the mood. And you're not hanging on to that one crappy thing that just happened. Things are changing, right? Of course, it's gonna, you're going to have to wait a few minutes. Don't expect things to happen. That's why it says put yourself in the waiting game for a second as you're balancing yourself out. So don't expect it to happen like within a, an hour, right? But you'd be surprised though sometimes how fast it can do it depending on how fast, right, you want to change, right? Just wait. It's kind of like more for the waiting game for me is more like just wait and see and watch as you're recuperating, as you're seeing everything accelerate in your in your area. It doesn't mean that that bad thing went away. It means that the emotion that you have towards the thing has gone away. And then we can deal with it in just a minute, right? Then when we're calm and our emotions are set back to where we need to be, now we can think. Remember, where emotions are high. Intelligence is low. So if you think of it that way, now, now your emotions are low, your intelligence is high, now you can figure out how to get through that and get back to where your passions are. Okay? Okay, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.